So here we're looking at an L1 Peugeot Partner electric van. That's the standard wheelbase. So this one has the half solid, half mesh bulkhead. That's probably the most common type of bulkhead. And then that door there opens down a flap and then you can remove it and you can drop down the passenger seat to slide along items through. The other half is fixed. So as far as sizes go, so the width between the rear larges is 1.2 meters that's uh well 47 and a half inches almost four foot by half an inch and then the floor length is 162 centimeters that is 64 inches but the bulkhead does stick out a bit at its furthest point is about there this is where it gets a little bit difficult to measure but actually let's shut the door if you want to come over here fam we can measure that easier now so at its narrowest point we're looking at 1.5 meters exactly so that's 59 inches so an inch off five foot and if you go around to the side and then here the width of the access on the side door and of course you only get one side door on an L1 is 47 yeah 47 centimeters that's just a fraction over 18 inches the width between the sides is slightly more than obviously the wheel arches but um, from door to door, maximum width we've got here is 142 centimetres. It does depend on the trim and where you're loading. And here we have an L1 Peugeot Partner van again, but with the ladder rack bulkhead, well really with no bulkhead, you just have the frame behind the driver's seat. And this one doesn't have ply lining. The narrowest point between the wheel arches on this one, uh, I think the other one was 1.2 meters from memory. This is 123 centimeters. So you get an extra three centimeters. That would be a bit of a tight squeeze there, maybe a millimeter off. And then let's just shut this door again so we can measure the worst point so are you focusing on that ladder rack in there Fern? so the ladder rack to the back door we're looking at a hundred and fifty three centimeters but actually from the seats to the back doors the highest point of the well the worst point of the seat is 159 centimeters and then let's go around to the side then the side door again, uh, if the seat was up in place, we're looking at a width of 100, uh, sorry, of 53 centimeters. But of course on these, you can drop that seat. And then you're looking, and you can drop this seat as well. Well, certainly the back, you can't get rid of that bit. But then the width here, you've got the full width to play with. So if you're putting a crate in here, you've got 63 centimetres. 65, yeah, so that is the worst, the narrowest point is 63 centimetres. I would imagine actually, no, we might have to squash that in a bit. No, 63. And then uh, width wise, if you were to have a crate in here, the maximum width you've got is 140 centimeters and then these have the three seats up front so you can fit three adults at a squeeze but it's great if you've got a child so you can both go out and have your child in your middle seat and these seats are quite flexible so you've got storage under there in the middle seat you can also drop the middle seat so it gives you a sort of table for the driver and then this outer seat 
lifts up to give you storage on the floor. And then the backrest drops down so the seat folds flat and then that gives you a perfectly flat load area there from the back ideal for putting long pipes you know copper pipes or conduit or stuff like that all the way through so it does give you a long load bed